Hey guys, it's Not Super Guy here, and I'm back with another Dead by Daylight video. This is a update to my Dead by Daylight, how to run it on a low end PC for the beta. This is going to be an update for the full version of the game. Now, just a little side note: this is not going to work for people who have the cracked version. I apologize, but it's not going to work for you guys. And I wish it would, it would, but it, it's not because you need Steam for most of this stuff to actually, you know, go through. Now. I will be putting in at around like two minutes a Bandicam video, which you have to do. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the game, uh, Dead by Daylight. It's a 4v1 multiplayer horror game where you, uh, four human controlled survivors or victims go against one of three human controlled killers. And in the beta, there was only one world with like four different versions of that map. Now in this version of the game, since it's the full version, there's two new killers, which you have to render into the game. Then there's two new worlds that you're seeing one of them right now. Um, and there's like four or so different versions of that map. And then there's uh, two new variations to the Macmillan Estate world that we all saw in the beta. So there's going to be a lot of new stuff into it. Um, if you have a really low on PC and you want to like try these out, you can try out the beta one, my beta video. And then add this on into uh, this this version. Now the game it will not look good at all when compared to the beta. How I made it look in the beta, this one's going to look a lot worse because it's more stuff in the game. And until like there's a better settings menu, which I hope they put in, uh, you're gonna have issues with this. Now we are nearing the two minute mark where I'm going to be putting the Bandicam uh, video of what you have to do. And so, right about now, I'm, oh, wait. Um, so, yeah, if you guys like this stuff, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what to do until I hit two minutes. I want to put it directly at two minutes. Okay, now I'm at two minutes. So, when you get into the Bandicam uh, por portion of um, what you have to do, you go and you click on Steam. You want to make sure that you have Steam running. And when you're, um, you want to right-click on Dead by Daylight, click on Properties, and click Set Launch Options and there's going to be a huge line of code in the description copy that code paste it into the box click ok close out the two boxes that you, the two windows that you just opened then go to the start menu or your uh windows menu whichever version of windows that you have seven or above you have to have windows seven or above you want to click percent which is the number five uh, shift and then the number five app data and then the percent again then you want to click on it. If you don't see it, just click enter and it'll work too. Now it's going to bring you to the roaming and you're not going to see anything there. You want to click back to app data. Then you want to click on local. Then you'll see dead by daylight. Then click on save, config, windows no editor, and then game user settings. Now there's going to be a whole lot of stuff that you may not know how to use or you may know how to use. Um, when it comes to scalability groups, you want to change the resolution quality to 50 and everything else in that little area you want to change it to zero. Now, for the next part, which says slash script slash dead by daylight and all that, you want to change your screen resolution to 25. You want to change uh, B use VSync to false. And this is optional, you don't have to do this, but change your resolution size X to 800 and change your resolution size Y to 600 and I'll save you even more frames. And if you want to play in windowed mode, uh, screen scale for windowed mode, you want to change to 25. Scalability level, if it's not already there, put it to zero. And then the rest of the stuff you can just mess around with on your own free time. And then click file when you're all done. Click file, save, close out the game user settings, and then close out the folder that you found it in. Now, turn on the game, and you should it should look bad. I know it's going to look really bad, but if you want to play the game, you want to like try it out, Trust me, it's going to be the best thing for you. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little video. I'm going to be playing the rest of the um, uh, the video that I recorded of what you do. Like After you do this, this is what it's going to look like. And that's what you're going to be seeing right about now. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Uh, comment down below if this helped you. If you still need assistance, leave me a comment. I will look into it. I respond to all my comments as best as soon as I possibly can. I've been having issues with my phone lately, so I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to reply to your comments. Oh, sorry, I just had a freaking microphone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, join me on the road to 150 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. Like this video if it works out for you. Share this with your friends. 
if they need help running Dead by Daylight or not because I hope that I make quality content enough that you guys want to share with your friends because it'll help me out and it'll help them out because they'll get entertainment and I'll get subscribers. So it's like a win-win. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. You guys go enjoy the rest of the gameplay that I have for you. I'm the Not Snoopy Guy signing out. Peace.
Okay, um, before I end the video fully, I was gonna make a separate video uploading, uh, this, uh, before uploading this video, um, but I'm not, I can't do that because I've been tired and, you know, mentally I need to prepare for finals, so I'm not gonna do a double upload tonight, but shout out to Julia Broadway for commenting with the, you know, the special, you know, comment this for a shout out in my description, thank you for reading my description, it means a lot, and peace out everyone.